All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to draw ray diagrams to find the image in a mirror. Okay, so I want you to get out a piece of paper. Draw a line. You're going to do this with me. So draw a line down the middle of the piece of paper and draw an arrow on the left side. Okay? Pause until you've done that. All right, so our first ray that we're going to draw is going to go straight in through from the top of our object to the mirror, okay? This line here is going to be our mirror. So light doesn't go through mirrors, it bounces off of mirrors. So what do you think that ray is going to do? You're right. That ray that goes straight in is going to bounce straight out. So that's easy enough. You can do that. Just make sure that this here is a 90 degree angle. Make sure you go straight into the mirror. That's kind of one of the little mistakes that we make when we do this. All right, so th this reflected ray, if I'm standing over here, so if here's my eye and I'm looking at it, okay, this outgoing ray looks like it came from somewhere back here in the mirror. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just make that line dotted behind the mirror because it's not really there. It just seems like it came from there. So we're going to go straight in, straight out, and bring it back behind the mirror. Okay? Now we're going to do the same thing in the back, bottom. Straight in, straight out, bring it back behind the mirror. So pause the video, do that. You should have two lines, one going in and out, one going in and out, and both of them parallel to each other. So this distance, this distance should be the same. Straight in, straight out. Pause the video till you get that. All right, so we're gonna kind of ignore those two rays. They're there on your paper, but and they're a little bit here on mine. All right, now we're gonna take any other ray from the top of the object because from the top of the object there's actually a million rays that you could draw because everybody can see my forehead well if you could see me you could see the forehead but you can see my forehead no matter where you are standing because there's a light ray going from my forehead in all those directions so we're just going to pick one of those rays and it's got to go from the top where you started the other one and it's going to go into the mirror. Okay? Now here's the tricky part. All right. We need to draw the normal. And the normal is a line perpendicular. So you actually have to use your protractor to measure that normal. And how you draw a protractor, use a protractor, is like this. Okay, we're going to zoom in here. All right, you've got this part of the protractor here. It's got a little dot on it. You want to line that little dot up with where your ray hits the mirror. So you want to take that and you want to line it up. And then you want to line up the line on the protractor with the line that's the mirror. So this little dot, see it has a little line through it? You want to line that line up or the 0 and 180 on the protractors. You want to line those up with the mirror. And then your normal is going to be right here at 90 degrees. So you really want to, I can tell if it's 88 degrees. So I, I don't have to measure it, but I do measure it just to make sure. I'll give you a degree, but if you're off by 2 degrees, that kind of looks slanted and I can tell. So you need to make sure that you measure those correctly. And then what we want to do is we want to measure this angle here. We always measure our angles from the normal. And so watch how I do this. This is 10 and then it's like 15 degrees. So I want to go 15 degrees on the other side. I'm going to go 10 and then 15 degrees and I'm going to draw the reflected ray at 15 degrees. So this is 15 degrees 
and I'm going to draw my reflected ray at 15 degrees coming out. So I make a little mark there, and then I line that mark up with where it hit, and I draw that line here. So here's my 15 degree angle, here's my 15 degree angle. Yours are different because you drew a different ray. It's okay. Just make sure that these two angles are equal to each other. Now, do you see how this incoming ray does not intersect that at all? But the reflected ray, if we bring that back, oh look, it's going to intersect back here. So we're going to bring the reflected ray, and they will cross here. And that is actually where you have the top of your image. So already we know about where our image is going to be, right there at the top. Okay, so those two rays came from the top of the object here, so when they meet, and if I put my eye right there, or I, actually you can't put your eye right there, but those two rays look like they came from right here. And so if I'm over here looking at it, I'm going to see a ray that went in and one that went out. Okay, so we're going to do that again with the bottom. Pick a ray, any ray. Okay, pick a ray, any ray. I went down this time just so it didn't get mixed up with these up here. Pick a ray, any ray. Draw your normal 90 degrees. Draw your reflected ray, which this angle will be equal to this angle. So take your protractor and measure those angles. Come out and then bring that back. Bring that back behind the mirror, and where those meet up, that is the bottom of your image. So here's what it would look like all together. So do you see how the process, if all you had was this on your paper, you'd be like, oh uh, yeah, right, how did I get that? You wouldn't know. That's why you need to know the process. This is not something you can memorize. All right, so here's the rays you need. This is really what you should write down. Okay, so you have your practice drawing. You're going to do another one in class, but you're going to take straight in, straight out from the top and the bottom. Bring back your reflected rays, which means bring them behind the mirror. Then choose any ray from the top. Draw your normal. Your angle of incidence is going to equal your angle of reflection. That's your law of reflection. Remember, we measured those two angles. And then you want to bring back the reflected rays. Where they meet up, that's where your image is. See? So where they meet up back here, that's where you're going to see an image of the bottom of the object and the top of the object. And then kind of everything else just kind of fills in. We could have done this, repeated this process with this spot here. We could have repeated it with this spot here, but as long as we know where the top and bottom are, we can fill in the in-betweens because it all fill in proportionally. So how do you know you did it right? This is like a little check. Do you have four incoming rays? Are there two from the top and two from the bottom? You should find that your image is about the same size as your object. And you should also find that the distance from the mirror to the object is the same as the distance from the mirror to the image. See, looking at this, this distance here is about this, the same as this distance here. This height is about the same as that height. All right, so you may need to go through this a whole bunch of times to figure it out. But practice, practice, practice. This is one, this will be on the test and nobody should miss it because you can practice it till the cows come home. All right, so what kind of image do we have? It's not a real image because it's not made from real light rays. Remember how it was made from dotted light rays? That makes it a virtual image because it's not really there. It can't be projected onto a screen. In class, we're going to see what a real image looks like. It's really kind of cool. You're going to like it. All right. 
Good luck. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.